Welcome to this tutorial. As promised today, I'll guide you through setting up a custom YOLO V8 model using the Raspberry Pi AI kit. We'll focus on detecting Satron products, specifically the newly released Motion 2 350 Pro and Maker Pi Pico. The Raspberry Pi AI kit brings the power of AI and computer vision into your hands without needing expensive infrastructure. So let's get started. This tutorial covers four key processes, data preparation, training the model, model conversion, and deployment. We'll go step by step, starting with dataset preparation and labeling, then training our YOLO 8 model using Google Colab, converting the model from ONNX to HEF format, and finally deploying it on our Raspberry Pi 5 with the Hilo 8L accelerator. The first step is data preparation. We'll be using RoboFlow for collecting and labeling our dataset. Start by capturing images or videos of your products from different angles and lighting conditions. Proceed to create a free account on RoboFlow and start a new project. Name it, choose object detection as the project type, and add classes for the items you're detecting. Upload your images or videos. In this tutorial, we'll use extracted images from a video as our dataset. From the extracted images, we'll use RoboFlow's labeling interface to draw bounding boxes around the objects of interest. If you're detecting common objects, you can take advantage of RoboFlow's auto-labeling feature to speed up the process. However, since our objective involves specific Satron products, we will need to manually label each image for better accuracy. This can be a time-consuming task, so consider splitting the labeling work among your team members to make the process more manageable. Ensure the bounding boxes are snug around the objects but not too tight, and try to avoid occlusion whenever possible. This will improve the model's accuracy during training. Take your time with this step. Careful and precise labeling is crucial to the overall performance of the model, so avoid rushing through it. After finishing the labeling, click Add Images to Dataset and split your images into training, validation, and test sets, typically 70% for training to help the model learn, 20% for validation to fine-tune hyperparameters and avoid overfitting during training, and 10% for testing to accurately evaluate the model's performance on unseen data, ensuring it generalizes well to new images. Next, navigate to the Generate tab and add pre-processing steps, such as resizing the images to 640 by 640. Resizing is crucial because it ensures that all images match the input dimensions expected by the YOLO V8 model, enhancing consistency during training. Adding pre-processing, such as augmentations like rotation, flipping, or brightness adjustments, helps diversify the dataset, making the model more robust and adaptable to variations in real-world scenarios. Finally, click Create Dataset and export it in YOLO V8 format. Copy the RoboFlow dataset code which we will use later in Google Colab for model training. Additionally, download the dataset as a zip file. This will be essential for calibration during the model conversion process from ONNX to HEF, ensuring that the converted model retains high accuracy and performs optimally on the Raspberry Pi AI kit. Now let's move on to model training using Google Colab, a platform that lets you train models without needing a powerful local GPU. To simplify the process, I've created a Google Colab notebook that you can follow along with, and the link is available in the description below. To get started, connect to a GPU by clicking on Runtime, then Change Runtime Type, and selecting GPU from the drop-down menu. Once set, run the provided code cell to verify that a GPU is available. As you can see here, Google has provided us with a Tesla T4 GPU, which features 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory, and is designed for deep learning tasks, offering excellent performance and speed for our model training process. Next, run the install YOLO v8 cell, which installs the Ultralytics library, clears previous output for a cleaner view, and verifies the installation to ensure everything is correctly set up. Use your RoboFlow API key to download the custom dataset directly into Google Colab. Replace the cell values with your RoboFlow API key which you copied when exporting the dataset earlier. For training, we'll be using the YOLO V8S model, where this stands for small. YOLO V8 comes in several variants, including nano, small, medium, large, and extra large, each tailored to balance speed and accuracy. The nano variant is the lightest and fastest, but offers less precision, 
while the extra-large variant provides the highest accuracy at the cost of speed and resource usage. For our project, the small model is a great starting point as it provides a balanced approach with good accuracy and manageable computational requirements. Adjust the number of epochs, batch size, and image size to suit your hardware capabilities and project goals and start the training process. Training can be time-consuming, often taking hours depending on the dataset size and GPU capability. So, be patient as the model learns to detect your custom objects accurately. After the training is complete, validate your model's performance by running the validation process on the test images to assess its object detection capabilities. Then, execute the results cell to visualize the model's performance and see the inference results using the validation images we set aside earlier. As demonstrated here, our model successfully detects the MakerPy Pico and Motion 2350 Pro with impressive accuracy, achieving a confidence threshold as high as 0.95. Finally, we need to export the best trained model from PyTorch to ONNX format. ONNX, or Open Neural Network Exchange, is a versatile and open source format designed to facilitate interoperability between various deep learning frameworks like PyTorch, TensorFlow, and others, making it easier to deploy models across different platforms. To export, we use the export command in the provided notebook, which converts our PyTorch-trained YOLO model into ONNX format. This format not only enhances the portability of our model, but also optimizes it for performance on a wide range of hardware, from cloud servers to edge devices like the Raspberry Pi. Once the conversion is complete, download the ONNX file, as we'll use it in the next step to convert it into HEF format which is essential for optimizing and running the model on the Raspberry Pi AI kit. With our model trained and saved as an ONNX file, the next step is to convert it to Hilo's HEF format using the Hilo Dataflow compiler and model zoo, which currently run only on x86 Linux systems. If you're using a Windows machine, you can install Windows Subsystem for Linux or WSL on Windows 10 or 11. WSL allows you to run a Linux environment alongside your Windows system without the need for dual booting, making it easier to perform tasks that require Linux-specific tools. If you already have an x86 Linux machine, you can skip the WSL setup. First, open PowerShell or Command Prompt as an administrator and enable WSL by running the following command. Once enabled, install the Ubuntu 22.04 distribution using the command provided. After the installation, you'll be prompted to set up a username and password. Complete this step, then update your system to ensure everything is up to date. With WSL set up, the next step is to install all the required libraries by executing the following commands, which will prepare your environment for running the Hilo tools. After setting up your Linux environment, it's recommended to create and activate a virtual environment before installing the Hilo Dataflow compiler. A virtual environment helps isolate dependencies, avoiding conflicts with other projects, and ensuring that you have a clean setup tailored specifically for this task. For this demonstration, we'll name the virtual environment Hilo DFC. This approach keeps your workspace organized and minimizes potential issues during installation. Visit the Hilo website and create an account, as registration is required to download the Hilo Dataflow compiler. Once logged in, Download the compiler version that matches your installed Python version. You can verify your Python version by running the following command in your terminal. Make sure to choose the correct version to ensure compatibility and smooth installation. Next, open the file explorer for your current working directory by executing this command. Once the explorer is open, move the downloaded Hilo Dataflow compiler file into this directory. After placing the file in the correct location, Install it by running the installation command in your terminal. Then verify the installation. Next, clone the Hilo model zoo repository by running this command in your terminal. Once the cloning is complete, navigate into the repository folder and install all necessary dependencies by executing the requirements installation command. With everything set up, move your ONNX model file to your Linux working directory and rename it for easy identification. Next, Extract the training dataset images we downloaded from RoboFlow earlier into the same directory. Finally, convert the ONX file to the HEF format using the following command. Make sure that the directory specified in the Calib path parameter contains your calibration images and adjust the classes parameter to match the number of object classes you intend to detect. 
For instance, in this model, we have two classes of Satron products. The conversion process might take some time, depending on your system's computational power, so this is a great moment to relax and grab a coffee. You're almost at the finish line. Once the conversion is complete, the file will be saved as YOLO v8s.hef. You may rename it for easier identification and organization. Now we'll deploy our HEF model onto the Raspberry Pi 5 with Hilo 8L. If you haven't installed the operating system yet, start by setting up your Raspberry Pi with Raspberry Pi OWA 64-bit with Raspberry Pi Imager. Update your system and set PCIe to Gen 3 to maximize performance, then reboot your Pi. Next, we need to install the Hilo software suite and reboot once more. Then, clone the Hilo Raspberry Pi examples from GitHub. In the Hilo Raspberry Pi 5 examples, navigate to the Resources folder and create a custom JSON file to define the detection parameters, such as IOU threshold set at 0.45 to control bounding box overlap, detection threshold at 0.7 to filter detections by confidence, and output activation set to none. The file also includes a label offset of 1, max boxes set to 200 to limit the number of detections, and predefined anchors that help locate objects of different sizes, while the label section names the detected objects, in this case, the name of the Satron products. Next, transfer the HEF file that you converted earlier to the Resources folder. You can use a flash drive to move the file from your Windows PC to the Raspberry Pi. Or you can use a third-party application, such as WinSCP, to facilitate the transfer. Here, I renamed the file to CYTP to differentiate with other HEF file inside the folder. With everything set up, it's time to see the results of our work. First, activate the virtual environment and run the detection script. Make sure to adjust the script based on the name and path of your JSON and HEF files. As the script runs, you'll see detected objects with bounding boxes appearing on the live feed. The custom model should now be able to distinguish between the Satron Maker Pi Pico and the Motion 2 350 Pro. It's exciting to see your trained model accurately detecting objects on the Raspberry Pi. Now you've gone through the entire workflow, from data collection and model training to conversion and deployment. You've learned how to create a custom YOLO V8S model that can detect Satron products using the Raspberry Pi AI kit. This process gives you the foundation to build your own AI projects on a budget. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below with your questions or projects you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching.